Mary. They pleaded, please, little ant, share some food with us. We'll help you when you're in need. But the ant shook his head. No, this is mine. I worked for it. Go find your own. I created that entire 3D animated story, complete with characters, movements, and voiceovers, all inside one AI app, all 100% free, without spending a single cent. The best part? You can create up to 10 minutes of animation just like this. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it too, step by step. And trust me, it's way easier than you think. All you need is one free tool you already have access to. I'm talking about CapCut, yes, the same CapCut you might already use to edit your regular videos. But now, it has a powerful new AI feature that does much of the heavy lifting for us. With CapCut's AI Video Maker, you can create entire animated stories with consistent characters, voiceovers, and animations, completely free. And in this tutorial, I'll walk you through it step by step. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. To access CapCut, head over to the official CapCut website. Once you're on the homepage, just sign up and hit the download button to install it on your computer. Next, open CapCut. At the top, you'll see the option to create a project, and right beside it, AI Video Maker. Once you're signed in, you'll see different editing tools available in CapCut. From here, go ahead and open Free AI Video Maker. Then click on New Project to start building your video from scratch. Once the interface loads, CapCut will ask whether you'd like to enter your own script or let the AI generate one for you. If you already have a story or script ready, choose Enter Your Script. But if you'd like CapCut to generate one for you, select Create One with AI. Just type a simple prompt and the AI will automatically build a story based on what you write. Since I already have my story prepared, I'll go ahead and paste it into the text box here. As you can see, my story is automatically divided into seven separate lines, making it easier to organize each part of the animation. The next step is to apply a voiceover. On the left-hand panel, click on Scene. Here you'll find the voiceover section. CapCut offers a variety of voices to choose from. Simply click on each option to preview how it sounds. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. And then pick the one that best fits your story. Once you've chosen the voice you want to use, click Apply to All Scenes. In just a few moments, your voiceover will be generated. Now, let's play it back and check how it sounds. In the heart of the forest, there lived a tiny ant who was known not for his strengths, but for his greed. Next step is generating images. To generate images for our story, go to the Media tab. Here you'll find three options. First, Generate AI Media. CapCut will create original AI-generated visuals that match your script. Second, Match Your Media. If you've already prepared your own images, you can upload them here and CapCut will align them with your story. And the third is Match Stock Media. This option lets the AI automatically pull relevant media from CapCut's stock footage library to fit your script. Let's go with Generate AI Media. Now it's time to set up our image style. First, choose your preferred aspect ratio. I'll select 16 by 9 landscape format, which is perfect for YouTube long videos. Next, pick a style. CapCut gives you tons of options like realistic, whimsical, futuristic, anime, fairy tale, and many more. For this project, I'm going with Cartoon 3D since it's great for a kid's animated story. After a short wait, our images are ready and they look amazing. Now take a moment to preview each image. If you notice something that needs fixing, simply hover over the image and click Replace. A new window will appear, and when you hit Generate, CapCut will create four fresh variations of that image. From there, just pick the one you like best and click Add to Scene. The old image will be automatically swapped out with the new one. This way, you can fine-tune every scene until it looks just right. 
Next up is the elements section. For this project, I'm going to skip it. Since I don't want the AI deciding on elements, I'll add those manually later. The same goes for music. I'll handle that in my own editing process. At this point, we already have the story, images, and voiceover ready. To enhance the video further with custom transitions and effects, I'll transfer everything into the CapCut desktop app. To do that, simply click Edit More at the top, and your entire project will automatically open in the desktop version of CapCut. Now that we're inside the CapCut desktop app, we can start refining and polishing the video with full creative control. This is where we can fine-tune every detail, adjusting images, syncing the voiceover perfectly, adding transitions, effects, music, and any extra elements to really bring the story to life. Now let's add transitions between each frame so the scenes flow smoothly. Go to the Transitions tab, browse through the available options, and choose the style that best fits your story. Once you've picked one, simply drag and drop it between two clips on the timeline. Then click Apply to All, and your video will transition seamlessly from one scene to the next. Next, let's enhance our captions with effects. Click on a caption in the timeline, then go to the Effects panel. Browse through the available text effects, and choose the one that matches the style of your video. Once you select it, the effect will automatically be applied to your caption, making it stand out and look more engaging. Now let's add some sound effects. Go to the Audio tab, then select Sound Effects. Browse through the library and pick the sound that best matches your scene. Once you find one, drag it onto the timeline and place it where it fits naturally in your story. Adjust its timing and volume if needed to blend smoothly with the rest of the audio. Repeat this process for all the areas in your video where sound effects are needed. was washed away and all Next, let's add background music. Go to the audio tab and select sound effects. From here, browse and choose a track that matches the mood of your story. For this project, I selected Forest as the background music. Place it under your video and adjust the volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover and sound effects. In the heart of the forest, there lived a tiny ant who was known not for his strengths. Now let's add the title. First, group all the clips together in the timeline and move them slightly aside. This will create space at the beginning of the video where we can place the title. Go to the Media tab and select Image. Choose a background image that fits your story. Next, go to Text, drag a text box to the timeline, and type your title. I typed The Greedy Ant. Finally, center the title text on the image and make sure it's clear and easy to read. Then go to the Effects tab and select a text style for your title. Then head over to Animation to add motion, bringing your title to life. Now let's add text-to-speech to our title. To do this, select your title text, then go to the text-to-speech option. From here, you can pick from different AI voices. I'm going to use the same adorable girl's voice that I used in the story voiceover, so everything stays consistent. Once you the click Apply, ant. the AI will automatically generate the voice for your title. Next, select the title image and apply an animation effect to bring it to life. Now I'll add an intro sound at the beginning of the title to make it more engaging. Go to the Audio tab, then select Sound Effects. Browse through and pick a nice intro sound that matches your title. Once you've chosen, simply drag it onto the timeline and place it at the very beginning of your video. The Greedy Ant Now take all the contents of your video and attach them right after the title on the timeline. This way, everything flows together and becomes one complete story video. The Greedy Ant In the heart of the forest, there lived a tiny ant who was known not for his strengths, but for his greed. He worked hard gathering food. At this point, you can either stop and export your video to upload directly to YouTube, or you can take things further by animating your scenes. 
To make this project more dynamic, I'll animate a few of them right here in CapCut as an example. When you first use CapCut's AI Video Maker, you'll receive 1200 free credits. Everything we've done so far didn't cost any credits, but animation does require them. So just to show you how to animate them, I will animate the first clip. Simply right-click an image and choose Image to Video. Once the image is added, just type in a short prompt, like, the ant is working, gathering food, and placing them all in one place. All animals nearby are just looking and doing nothing. I'll use their Video 2.0 model, which only takes a few credits. Set the duration to 5 seconds, and use the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and this will cost 140 credits. Then, click Generate. Once the animation is generated, I can preview it to see how it turned out. In the heart of the forest, there lived a tiny ant who was known not for his strengths. To add some variety, I'll animate another scene as well. And once again, it works beautifully. They pleaded, please, little ant, share some food with us. Once you're happy with all your animations, go ahead and export your final video. Click Export at the top, type the file name of your project, select the folder where you want to save it, Set the resolution to 4K for best video quality, select MP4 format, and finally click Export. Now just give it a moment while the video processes. Once it's ready, upload it to your social media account like YouTube. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy watching the final video we just created together. The greedy ant. In the heart of the forest, there lived a tiny ant who was known not for his strengths but for his greed. He worked hard gathering food, yet when others asked for help, he would turn away. One scorching day, the bunny, fox, bird, and even the mighty lion were all thirsty and hungry. They pleaded, please, little ant, share some food with us. We'll help you when you're in need. But the ant shook his head. No, this is mine. I worked for it. Go find your own. Days later, a storm flooded the forest. The ant's home was washed away, and all his food disappeared. Cold and weak, he had nowhere to go. To his surprise, the lion offered shelter. The bunny shared carrots. The bird brought grains, and the bear gave a pillow. The ant, with tears in his eyes, whispered, even though I was selfish, you still helped me. I see now that sharing makes us stronger. From that day on, the ant was no longer greedy, but the first to share. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.